Over the years, WWE has created a number of compelling stories about buddies who became enemies. It is true that many of these conflicts were staged on purpose to entertain viewers and enhance the story, but many famous people also clash in real life. The storylines created by these rivals led to numerous feuds and matches of incredible quality. There were real life feuds between these stars, where they were motivated by lust, ego, or envy. In the video, the top WWE enemies in real life are ranked. And be sure to press the notification button to view more videos and subscribe to our channel, Wrestling Netic. Let's start the video. Number 10, Alberto Del Rio and Sin Cara. These two Mexican wrestlers had a strained relationship with one another. Alberto Del Rio, a former WWE champion, didn't like or get along with Sin Cara. The two wrestlers were well known in Mexico and competed against one another frequently once they joined WWE. Almost always, the matches were poor. Del Rio made it clear that he didn't like the celebrity in a mask. The former even made fun of Sin Cara's injuries during an interview. The latter, he continued, had a lot of potential but was susceptible to far too many ailments. Perhaps a little envy was present as well. Sin Cara never had to visit Florida Championship Wrestling, unlike Alberto. Number 9. Randy Orton and Mr. Kennedy Real-life rivalry between Orton and Kennedy existed, but it may have sparked by jealousy. The latter might have enjoyed great success in the WWE. After winning the Money in the Bank contract, he was picked to star in a film and was also close to winning the World Championship. All of this began when Mr. Kennedy made his return from a medical leave of absence. Kennedy's visit home only lasted one night. He unintentionally put Randy Orton on his head during a match with the Wiper and nearly hurt him. According to reports, the Apex Predator was dismissed by the WWE a few days later after the match for yelling at him in the locker room. Number 8. Chris Jericho and Taz Jericho and Taz haven't shared the ring all that often. Throughout their tenures in ECW and WWE, they engaged in numerous confrontations. There was never any conflict between them while they were both competing as wrestlers. This disagreement stems from their tenure as host of their own podcast outside of the world of professional wrestling. According to Jericho, his podcast talk is Jericho has received millions of downloads and plays. Taz, the host of his own program, The Taz Show, publicly questioned Y2J's assertion on both of his program and Twitter. Samoa Joe's first interview since leaving Impact Wrestling was advertised when Jericho spoke with him after the latter had departed the promotion. Number 7. Triple H and CM Punk In addition to their on-screen feud, CM Punk and Triple H had a personal one. The two superstars' large egos prevented them from accepting a lot of things, which was tough for them. Punk admitted that he and the Cerebral Assassin had a tense relationship during an appearance on the Art of Wrestling podcast with his old friend, Colt Cabana. Punk also stated that Triple H never liked him in the first place and that this was a fundamental reason why new wrestlers didn't advance to the main event. The game wasn't a fan of Punk's demeanor. At Night of Champions 2011, the Straight Edge Superstar was also dissatisfied because Triple H declined to put him over. Number 6. CM Punk and Jeff Hardy CM Punk and Jeff Hardy would result from a machine that produced two people that are diametrically opposite to one another. Yeah, they're opposed. One is a straight shooter, while the other one has a history of drug usage and public intoxication that has resulted in multiple arrests. In WWE, the two were involved in a contentious feud that appeared very real. The fact that both superstars didn't get along in real life may have contributed to the bitterness of the feud. Number 5. Goldberg and Triple H It's no secret that Goldberg detested Triple H's guts. The former Universal Champion frequently voiced this animosity in public. Long-term fiction between the two may have subsided a little with Goldberg's comeback to WWE in 2016. Years ago, they were on the verge of a fight in an airport and Triple H claimed that Goldberg was unworthy of the Hall of Fame because he had no regard or enthusiasm for the wrestling industry. In 2013, Goldberg said, If they knew how to handle business, I'd consider it. Regardless of their conflict, Goldberg made a comeback to the WWE in 2016 and was later honored with the Hall of Fame induction in 2018. Number 4. Stephanie McMahon and China after declaring China unsuitable for the WWE Hall of Fame due to her work in pornography after leaving WWE, the game paid tribute to her at Raw 25, perhaps making a point. The truth is that Stephanie's abrupt involvement in Triple H's friendship with the ninth wonder of the world played a role in her decision to switch jobs. China finally left the firm where she rose to fame as a result of her descent into drug and alcohol addiction. China was eager to point out that the growing friendship with her former on-screen companion, Triple H and the Billion Dollar Princess, was ultimately caused way too much pain yeah that was just way too much and that's what caused her departure from the organization in several interviews number three randy savage and hulk hogan 
The late Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan were close friends who collaborated as the mega powers in the WWE. In addition to teaming up, wrestlers engaged in what many consider to be the greatest feud in WWE history. As a result of Macho Man accusing Hogan of touching when he touched his wife Elizabeth's breasts, they nearly got into a physical altercation backstage. Savage believed that the Hulkster was to blame for his separation from Elizabeth. The former even put on a studio record called Be A Man on which he mocked the Hulkster. Savage overprotected his wife and didn't like it when his friend made advances towards her. Before Savage's death, Hogan and Randy made amends. Number 2. Edge and Matt Hardy In reality, the quarrel between Matt Hardy and Edge over Lita was based on a real-life rivalry that had been fictionalized. Lita began seeing Edge before Hardy and she parted ways after being together for years. When this eventually became an on-screen viewpoint, it was an extremely seductive love triangle angle. Because of his violent actions towards Edge, Matt was fired from the company. A relationship between Edge and Hardy's then real-life girlfriend, Amy Dumas, led to the conflict. Hardy is a well-known attention seeker, vented his resentment towards Edge and Lita's behavior in front of the media. Edge would go on to achieve heights that he might have never seen before had it not been for his transgression. Hardy was brought back in response to public demand, although he never achieved the same level of success as Edge or Matt's brother, Jeff. But Hardy found success at AEW and TNT. Number 1. Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels Oh boy. At the end of the video, we will talk about Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. It's no secret in the locker room that Shawn Michaels was a jerk and notorious in the early days, both on and off screen. He and Bret Hart had a heated rivalry that reached the head at Survivor Series in 1997 and gave rise to the infamous Montreal Screwjob. Hart and Michaels developed a fiercest of the rivalry following the event in Montreal, even though the rivalry had begun way before that. However, HBK's romance with Sonny also contributed to their feud, which led to a real-life altercation between the two wrestlers. That's it for today's video. We appreciate you watching the video. Must remember to hit that notification button and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. See you later. Bye-bye.